this filth. We seek to show you how to unfuck Steam. You may find yourself here, because your game looks like this. There are two places this mine need to be fixed, neither of which are in the game. Activate Big Picture Mode, locate the game you wish to unfuck, and hit the Manage Game button. Select Controller Configuration and please pay special note to how the right stick has been mapped to Joystick Mouse. We need to correct this. Click on the drop down for Style of Input and be sure to select Joystick Move. This will cause the controller to function as a controller instead of a bullshit mouse. This might have the unintended effect of clearing the click action option in the lower left hand side. Please click on that, notice the diagram of the controller, and click on the right stick. This will restore your click action so that you can focus on enemies. It is possible that these are the only actions you need to take. However, if you wish to future-proof yourself against additional shenanigans related to Steam overlays interfering in a windowed application, there are additional steps you should consider. Go to the Settings menu on the Big Picture Mine page and under Controller pick Bice Configurations. Click on Steam Button Code Configuration and please take special note of all the system functions that have been marked to your controller for no goddamn reason. Click on each function and illuminate it. Some may involve a drop down box to select none, and some may have a diagram to which you simply hit remove on the left hand side. When you're done, the screen should look like this. However, if you wish to be thorough, we will have to attack the desktop configuration as well. Perform the same configurations here to clear out everything so that it looks as blank as the previous one. To remove any and all room for doubt, go back to the settings menu, click on controller settings, and clear all check marks except for guide button focuses stain. This should force Steam to simply pass the controller input through, rather than trying to interpret it into a system function that you didn't ask for. Because you're using a PlayStation 4 controller, there might be an additional application you need to acquire called DS4 Windows. This program translates the input of a PlayStation 4 controller into buying an Xbox controller, which is native integration within Windows 10. Extract the application and launch DS4 Windows, select the App Data option, Consent to the user control that prompts up and press the install the DS4 driver button. Close out of the application, either attach or reattach your PlayStation 4 controller and relaunch the application. Assuming that the program now shows that there's a controller attached, there is no further configuration you need to do, you can launch Dark Souls 3 and go ahead and look like an absolute bellend. Happy hunting!